captain has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Hey there. So now that you're an expert on creating a translation memory database, it's time to start using it to translate your projects. Let's take a look at a brand new Lingo project. Right now, everything looks pretty empty. So let's enter a translation in the target segment. When you're done, press enter on your keyboard. See the check mark that appears next to the translation? You just confirmed the translation. You told Lingo it was the right translation, and so it added it to the translation memory. Later, when you see this segment in the project again, Lingo will offer this translation to you as a suggestion. Now let's look at a different project. This one is a little further along in the translation process, and the translation memory already has some suggestions in it. Because there are already some segments in the translation memory, when you click in a segment like this, Lingo automatically fills in the suggestion for you. See how some of these matches are 100% matches and some are 101% matches? 101% matches are just a little better of a match because they are context matches. The segment before it or after it is also a perfect match. If you click in that segment and press enter, the translation is accepted. Now that you've seen perfect matches, let's look at fuzzy matches, places where Lingo has a suggestion, but it's not quite perfect. In this project, Lingo has two suggestions, one that's a 50% match and one that's a 60% match. You can see them in the TM suggestions grid, but neither one is filled in automatically because the match percentage is too low. However, you can see them. If you want to use a suggestion, double-click it and it will appear in the target segment. You can then adjust the suggestion a little bit until it's just the way you want it. Then press enter to accept the translation. Once you have a lot of suggestions saved up in your translation memory, you can use it to quickly translate your project. There are two ways to do it. When you're creating a project, and once the project is already created. When you're creating a project, you have the option to pick a translation memory. See this pre-translate dropdown? Select Translate with TM from that dropdown. When you create the project, Lingo will scan your entire translation memory and apply matches to your project automatically, so you don't have to go through it line by line. Now, what if you already have a project created? Don't worry, you can still use the translation memory to translate your project. Select the home ribbon and click Translate Project with TM. Again, Lingo will scan your project and apply any matches for you. With both translation options, Lingo also opens up project statistics so you can see how many segments have been translated. That way, you know how much work is left to do. And that's it! Using a translation memory really makes your job a lot easier. Of course, at some point, you might need to make some changes to the translations in your translation memory database. We'll cover that next in Translation Memory Part 3, Editing TM Databases.